briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. When Norma and Dean Tolson enhanced a property they mistakenly believed was theirs, a legal battle unfolded, seriously challenging fundamental nuances of property improvement law in the state of Missouri. The Tolsons, having invested considerable time and money in improvements, sued the rightful owner, Madison, for reimbursement. The pivotal issue hinged on whether the Tolsons, having acted in good faith and without fraudulent intent, had a viable right to recover the cost of improvements, despite the existence of the betterment statute in the state's law. The case revolved around the important query, can individuals who innocently make enhancements to a property that later turns out not to belong to them seek restitution? The Tolsons took feasible steps to establish ownership before development started. They obtained building permits and worked openly on the enhancements. When it became evident that there was a genuine error about the property's ownership, the Tolsons stopped making improvements, ceased rent collection, and voluntarily conceded the property back to Madison. However, Madison refused any attempt at settlement, triggering the lawsuit that fetched them to the Kansas City Court of Appeals. In a surprising turn of events, the court dismissed the Tolsons' claim, siding with Madison. The plaintiffs, nonplussed and strongly believing in their right to remuneration, considering precedent cases like McLean v. Martin, Callaway Bank v. Ellis, lodged an appeal. The appellate court weighed the matter differently, remanding the case for a new trial. It concluded that the initial trial was conducted under an incorrect theory, which coupled with insufficient evidence on the property's enhancement value following the Tolson's remodeling and the rental income the couple may have accrued in their period of possession, mandated the case's reassessment. The Tolson's versus Madison case echoed significantly in Missouri state law, prompting a closer look at the relationship between property improvements by non-owners, good faith, and the instruments of equity available within the bounds of the state's legal framework. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.